Hello, and welcome to the unbelievable summer of 2024, where amazing things happen when I put my cameras away. What did they say about putting the cameras away? Yeah, see, here. Anyway, we started our summer with a May long weekend in Manning Park. And we were close to Lightning Lake here. And it was too cold. <laughs> <laughs> but you see good Canadian kids there playing street lacrosse. So that's just a short view of what it looks like in the campsites there. And this is our campsite, complete with picnic table and oh so necessary fire pit. No fire bands at this time of year. And so pretty much most of this trip was um, just wearing jackets and toques and huddling up to the fire. It did snow. And May long weekend is not always like this every year, but it was this year. But it got hot. <laughs> Took till July, but it got hot. And so now we're at Kettle River. And this is, uh, we went there last year, so I'm not going to show the tubing down the river, but there is tubing. And there's our tube. And there's this river, and I crossed the river, and I went over because I saw this cave. And I was able to get inside there and take a look with my... 10 foot uh, selfie stick. <laughs> so there you go. If you're ever wandering around that area and wonder what's in there, if it's an old bear cave or not, <laughs> looks like it's an old mining site. So you can get up to the top of the hill, and here's the U bend. So up on the top right there, that's where people start tubing, and then they tube down around that corner and go to the back. So you get to the top, you gotta go to the bottom. <laughs> And this place has its own special little dog park section. <laughs> so, you know, that's where we are. And then it's off to Marcus Island. So that means we left BC and headed into Washington. So we get to the information booth to this place and there's no choice, but to the left is 20 sites. To the right is five sites. We went left first, of course, and then ended up in our site. But uh, it was just kind of one of those places that it was like almost deserted. And we were trying to figure out why. We thought we'd gotten into the apocalypse or something like that. And then we saw this road sign here. Yeah, fair warning. I may have made that sign. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we ended up having this whole end of the island to ourselves for three days. A few people came down to swim. But, uh, you know, they were there for an hour and they were gone, but otherwise we were alone. So Barkley got to roam free. Barkley in the boat! Barkley in the boat! Come in the boat! Come in! Come on in! Come on! Oh, what a good boy! What a good boy! So any good soaking requires a roll in the dirt. Not a boy. That a boy, bring it on home. <laughs> and run home they did, shaking it off again. So now a little Barkley tribute here. Here he is soaking wet. Looking for some treats. <laughs> and cooling off in the evening sun. Nice backlit shot. And dog passed out. So on this trip, I did want to get some astrophotography done. So you'll see um, the bright light that just went through was the International Space Station. So I did get some of that. But uh, one of the things was it's 2 a.m. in the morning when this is going on. And I didn't know this, but fish jump at night too. Boy, did that startle uh, out of me. <laughs> so the next day, it was Irish death for lunch. And as I said, we had the place to ourselves. So my little three watt amplifier there supplied the music for the entire riverfront. And yes, I did get applause. <laughs> Okay, so here's the story to explain that last picture a little bit. We had just packed everything into the motorhome. I put my tripod away. Cameras are all tucked away in the safe in the RV. And we were going to go for a bike ride with Barkley and just kind of see the place. And then I'm just coming out of the motorhome. 
And Shannon looks back at me and says, cover your ears. <laughs> and I'm like, what? And I look up in the skies and about three, 400 feet up is a jet now screaming past overhead. <laughs> Total surreal scene. So Shannon was able to talk to some of the locals there and we did find out this wasn't that rare an event. These jets did fly by from time to time. So when we got back from our bike ride, I got the cameras out and I waited. Anytime the sky would rumble, I'd be hoping, but they never came back. So now it's August and we're off to Texada Island. And from Vancouver, it's basically three ferries coming out of Horseshoe Bay and then over to Powell River and then on to Texada Island. And that's where we land and then we make our way over to Gillies Bay. So we do have a friend that lives over there, and this is her front yard. <laughs> and it, it's pretty extensive, so the dogs get to go for long walks and um, a lot of swimming, and it's just an awesome place. And there's our dog, Barkley, shaking it off again. So island life requires eating salad. So even our dogs enjoyed oh, some Caesar salad. Now we've been waiting for our turn. <laughs> gentle, on my hands, gentle. Good job, guys. Okay, and there's one happy bird out in the rain. It did rain for most of August while we were out there. The dogs were depressed. Poor Barkley had found some new toys, but no one would play. So everybody slept lie down, sleep, wait for the rain to stop, and eventually the rain did stop. So I was able to get out and take some pictures of the birds and every other thing. <laughs> that really should have been the end shot, but I got something better afterwards. So. <laughs> I just love the little faces on these crabs. And it's just like they're all like happy as a crab. <laughs> I thought it was clams that were happy. You know, they weren't happy when this guy was around, though. I think he was picking on them. So, oh, yeah, here we go. We did get some sunshine. I got out to paddle in it for a little bit. And uh, it's kind of neat being out there all by yourself. You can sing to nature and nobody hears you. And for anybody wondering, this is how you paddle a U-boat. I just love that shot. And we did get the bicycles out for a bit. And there's that front yard again. And there's how it looks at night time, maybe. So I did get a new lens for my camera and here's a picture of it. It looks more like a telescope than anything else. It's a huge lens. But I was able to get some pretty awesome shots of the weather. And that's it. Barkley's on his boat and on the way home. But we did see a couple orcas in uh, Sultry Bay. And the ferry wouldn't leave until they were out of the bay area where we were. So just a little quick shot of them. Really hoping I was going to get a picture of them jumping, but next time. And that's it for summer of 2024. <laughs> Can't wait for winter. <laughs> yeah.